Machine learning is largely classified as supervised, unsupervised and reinforcement learning. In supervised machine learning, we are provided with input and expected output. The program learns to predict the output of unseen inputs and learns to map inputs to outputs. When we do not have mappings of input to expected output, we call it unsupervised machine learning. In unsupervised machine learning, we are not provided with the labels of data. Instead, we are supposed to find the structure in the given data. Reinforcement learning is an area of machine learning concerned with how software agents ought to take action in an environment so as to maximize the reward. In reinforcement learning, the programs are provided with dynamic environment and it should achieve certain goal by interacting with that dynamic environment. The reinforcement learning differs from standard supervised learning in that correct input-output pair are never presented nor suboptimal actions explicitly corrected. Instead, the focus is on online performance which involves finding a balance between exploration of uncharted territory and exploitation of current knowledge. The supervised learning is further categorized as classification and regression. And the example of unsupervised learning are clustering. In classification supervised machine learning, the objective is to identify to which of a set of categories a new observation belongs on the basis of a training set of data containing observations whose category membership is already known. For example, identifying an email as spam and not in spam. First, machine is provided with emails which are labeled as spam and not spam. Afterwards, the machine should classify if an email is spam or not spam. The other example is OCR, Optical Character Recognition. Here, given an image, the computer should identify which number is present in the image out of 0 to 9. For training, the computer is provided with lot of images labeled with a corresponding digit. In case of regression, objective is to predict a value which is continuous instead of discrete or categorical as in case of classification. Let's take an example of regression. Say we have historical data in the form of X and Y. X could be the years of experience and Y could be the salary of a person. The objective would be to predict the salary of a person based on the experience. After plotting it, if the data looks like it will fit a straight line, then we can use linear regression. In linear regression, we basically draw all possible lines while calculating distance of each line from all of the points. The line having the least distance is considered as the model and this line which is considered as the model can be used for predicting the future. Clustering is an unsupervised machine learning task. In clustering, we essentially group similar items together. We need to define the criteria for similarity. Sometimes, we may need to group elements to form a hierarchy. This is known as hierarchical clustering.